In this example, I'm going to show you how to create a flow surrounding on closing dates. This is going to be a common use case. So first thing we do is, is select a date where the flows are surrounded on. So I'm going to collect uh, or select a closing date. So, so now we can sort of, uh, you know, think about the, the process of a closing date and, and think of things that will uh, benefit you, your clients, your team uh, on keeping track of, of a, such an important, important date like closing date. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a, a before a flow before. So I'm going to say five days before closing date, I'm going to send myself an SMS. So I'm going to send an SMS to, you know, in this case, it's myself, the contact owner, um, with a, and there, there's a bunch of, you can preload text here. You can edit text. So I'm going to, uh, select this one. So closing coming up. So five days before the closing date, I'm going to get a text to myself like this saying, Hey, reminder for first and last name, these are dynamic tags, uh, closing. So again, I'm going to get this text message internally to myself just as a way to remind me, it's going to be in my calendar regardless, but uh, for me, I think it's important to just get that reminder. So it's, it's top of mind in my head. So again, you can edit this message here, this text message, uh, but that's what I'm going to get uh, five days before the closing. So I'm going to click save. Okay. So that's set up now on the day of the closing, what I'm going to do is send a text message to the client. So action, I'm going to send an SMS to the contact and I'm going to select, uh, uh, actually in this case, I'm going to create a new, new message. So, uh, the name and name it day of closing to client. So I'm going to type my message. So, Hey, first name, again, you can do dynamic tags here. Hey, first name, congratulations. Your closing is today. Let me know if you have any questions or need help with anything. Very excited for you. Talk soon. Okay. So just a personal little message to the client on the day of the closing. Perfect. Okay. So again, as of now, five days before the closing, I'm gonna get that text message to myself just as to be top of mind. Remember it uh, on the day of the closing. Uh, again, this is already going to be in my calendar because of my calendar is connected, but you know, the client will also get a text message, uh, on the day of now, uh, the, the beauty now comes after in terms of the nurturing and the follow up. So I'm going to set up another flow now, uh, 30 days after closing. So let's say 30 days after closing, I'm going to send a SMS to the client. Uh, let's see if any of these make sense here. No, these are just test ones. So I'm going to create a new SMS. So 30 day after close to client. So this message is it, just going to be a quick follow up. So, Hey, first name. Can't believe it's already been 30 days since closing. Um, How's everything going so far? Let me know if there's anything I could help with. Talk soon. All right. So just a quick little message, follow-ups, you know, keeps the, keeps the conversation flowing. So I'm going to set that up 30 days after I'm going to do another one now, 60 days after closing with another text message, you know, just a, another touch point. Um, I'm gonna call this one 60 days after closing to client and, you know, similar type of message like, Hey, first name, hope you're doing well. Just wanted to check in and see if there's anything I could help with. Have a great day. You know, just a little, you know, touch point. 
with your client. So that's set up now 60 days. So again, recap. So five days before closing, I'm going to get a text message to myself just so it's a friend of mine on the day of the closing, that text message is going to go to the client. And then 30 days after the closing, you're going to send another follow up text message to them. 60 days after closing, you're going to send another follow up to them. And now after this, what, what I'm going to do is set up a recurring. So I'm going to do every two months, let's just do so every two months after closing, I'm going to set a recurring uh, follow up to myself. So this is going to be I'm going to send a uh, or you can add it to your, your calendar. But in this case, what I'll do is just send a text message to myself every two months saying uh, follow up. So I think this is the one that I can use. I'm just going to edit this one. So follow up to client follow up. I'm going to call it follow up description internal. And again, this is a text message to myself just as a reminder. So I'm going to follow, it's going to say follow up with, and then I'm going to put in first name, last name. Okay. So that's it. So, you know, recurring every two months it's set up. So I'm going to get a text message that goes, that gets sent to myself. Uh, just saying follow up with this person two months. And then from there you can do what you want to call them, text them, but at least it's, it's in front of you. Uh, you know, it's time to, to continue nurturing that relationship. And you can also do, you can also add this to your calendar as well. So two months, two months, follow up with again, first name, last name. So you can also add that to your calendar as well. You can do either or, um, but just an example of what you can do. So, so now if you do, if you add it to your calendar, uh, you're going to see this on your calendar, um, every two months dynamically with that, with that first, with that client's first and last name. So, so, you know, to follow up with them to your calendar, um, that's a sort of a task that you have for the day. So that's it. So that's the flow. So. That's an example of a very common use case, a very important use case surrounding closing dates. Um, very important to keep the conversation going, keep the interactions going with the client. That's how you build solid relationships, uh, get referrals. So nurture flow really assists with that. So again, just to recap, uh, closing date is the, the day we're surrounding this flow. Um, five days before closing date, you're going to get a text to yourself. Um, just as, as a reminder of the closing date, keep it top of mind. The day of closing, you're going to send that personal text to the client. 30 days after closing, you're going to send another personal text to the client. 60 days after closing, you're going to send uh, another uh, text to the client. And then every two months recurring, you're going to send um, or an, an internal text message is going to be sent to you, reminding you to follow up with the client. So, so that's just in a quick example of nurture flow when I click save now. So closing date flow. So yeah, once you set this, anyone who, who falls under this scenario, um, will, will get this flow automatically. So it's a one-time setup and then, you know, boom, it, it's set up for you, uh, ongoing. So. So that's it. That's a example of a quick flow. And uh, I hope this helps as always. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks.